And now it's time for Free Shirt Friday. Hi everybody and welcome to Free Shirt Friday, but it's actually Saturday morning because I fell asleep last night as I started making this. But we're going to go ahead and continue on. I'm adding a t-shirt to my character here. It's just the uh, plain base t-shirt. I'm going to say fit body shape and default. And now we're going to make a texture. We're going to be using paint.net and also my site which is pixeldatabase.net so give this just a second and I'll launch up paint.net while that's loading okay we're gonna create a new image I'm gonna just resize the one that opens up when you start paint.net I'm gonna make it 2048 by 2048 and you might need to uncheck maintain aspect ratio if you have it selected okay and now I'm just gonna save this as white image I'll go to my temp folder okay and now I kinda cheated for this episode started and I got some colors I wanted to use from some design site had a bunch of color combinations so we're gonna go over to my site which is pixeldatabase.net it's free and we're gonna load our white t-shirt I don't need all this right there okay and now we're going to just first say update set color black and we're going to scatter it about 96% and that'll make 96% of the pixels black and we're going to do it twice so that should get us down to just a few little bit left so it's just not completely black doesn't really matter we're going to do some more stuff to it okay so now we're going to let me go to my first one this is our first color so we're gonna say update set color and you can use any colors you want you can either type in an RGB like I did or a named color and this time we're not gonna scatter quite so much we'll go down to about 36 and we're gonna say where and on the next line Y less than 480 okay that looks slightly different than the uh, picture I'm coming from, but we'll see what I may do it one more time just to see what that looks like. Okay, that's a little better. So we'll just crank up our scatter to 72 so the next one we don't have to do that quite so much. And let me get my next color. We don't need that. All right, and now we're going to say Y between. 480 and 960 okay and now we're gonna get our last color and this is going to be Y greater than 960 okay and the reason why it's not even is because the sleeves cut off about right here so I'm trying to have it to where the bottom and the sleeves look alike is what I'm shooting for we're not see but now I want to I don't like this one here I'm gonna go back and do the top one for some reason it doesn't look the same as the color I'm coming from but maybe I'm just not seeing right all right and this time we'll do less than 480 again I just want to see why that one's not Okay, that's a little better. I just didn't like that first one being so, uh, and I might do them all one more time just to get them. They tend to look a little better the second time. Ah. Come on, sorry, having mouse issues. Okay, and this time is Y between 480 and 960. Yeah, it looks okay. We'll see what it looks like as a shirt. I might undo that one and do that one like 20 more. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that one. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll do the last one one more time. Sorry, to didn't realize I was going to need to do them twice. And that's just greater than 960.
Okay, so now we'll go ahead and download our image, see what it looks like. Go to my shirts folder, and I'll just call this uh, three colors two, because I've already got a three colors one. All right, so now we'll go to character creator, and I'm gonna, on the modify tab, click on diffuse, and we'll go to our three colors that we just created. Okay, and that is our shirt. I think that looks pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do next is make this part and this part line up. So to do that, we're gonna get the UV map. So let me, I've already got one say, but I'll show you an easy way to do it if you've never done this before, to get you a transparent version of this. So what we're gonna do is say save as, and I'll just go to my temp folder for this, and I'll call this uv.p, and make sure it's a PNG, because it wants to save it as a bitmap. And now we're gonna go back to my site. I'm gonna close this, open up our little UV, and now we're gonna get rid of the, uh, the black, so we'll just say total less than 20. Okay, so now we've got just a transparent. It's a little easier for me to work with. And we'll put this here in my tip folder. I've already got one of these. Okay, so now I wanna open this file up. Control A and Control C to select all and copy. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna open up that three colors that we just had in my shirts folder. The shirt three colors two, so the one we just made. All right, and I'm going to add a new layer right here. I'm going to paste in my UV map. Now I just I've done this enough times. The front, I believe, is this right here, and you can prove it really easily just by uh, adding a big. Let me get my toolbox visible. Oh, there it is. Uh, where's my paintbrush? And we'll just add a big line right through there. Just to, and we'll save this temporarily. We'll even leave the, it doesn't matter if we leave the little lines for a second. We'll just call it temp, because we're only gonna use this for a second. But this is just to verify the front. Okay, the back, I mean, is the left. So the front is the right. So that's what I was trying to verify. Okay, so now we'll go back now that we know that's the back so we want the back to line up oops there okay so I'm gonna hit control Z twice and I'm gonna get rid of our little yellow stripe and now on the back we're gonna adjust I'm selecting all to about right there and I'm clicking on move selected pixels right there and by doing this, we're hoping to line up, we're going to make these a little uneven. We'll just, it's trial and error here, but we'll go to about there and save it. Let me hide our little lines. And we'll go to, and we'll call this a uh, three color shirt. Okay, and now we'll see how we did. I don't need that anymore. Okay, I think we did pretty good. We lined it up actually just about perfect without... I think this side's not quite as good, but I'm not going to worry about it. It looks good and it looks better than it did. So, that is my first episode of Free Shirt Friday, Saturday morning edition. Might happen again this way sometimes, but I am going to put this shirt right now. We're going to save this, so let me go to my, this is, uh, I already have this here. I have this account, this is my GitHub repo, and I'll put the link in the video description, but it's just github.com slash data juggler slash textures, and let me add a file. I'll give you our file that we just created if you don't want to create it. So we've got our three color shirt. It's in my temp folder now, but I'm going to move it. Okay, and I'll just put added a three color shirt. 
Okay, so if you want this, here's the texture right here. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And now it's time for Free Shirt Friday.